I have a question. I have a 27 year old son. He's, uh, he's trains excessively for Ironman competitions, you know, riding the bike on that little seat and then running. And I mean, he says, and all of the guys that he trains with say, you know, they're numb after they get off the bike for hours um, training. Is that, um, da- I can, my concern is it could be damaging his prostate for later in life as he ages and continues with this heavy training, being on a bike all the, is there anything that is related to that? Janet, you're such a mom. You're such a mom. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you for the question. It's actually a very good question. Let's see. He's 27 years old. So here's the deal. That's an age and stage where um, men are looking for some sort of meaning in life and what's you know, one can argue we're all, I'm still looking for meaning in life and that kind of stuff. But as you get older, you, you find more of those answers. 27 years old, you're still looking for that thing that drives you that feel good. That's natural. Um, that accomplishment, like, yeah, that kind of stuff to make you feel good. Right. That's natural. And it's not, you know, drugs or things like that. Right. So, so his choice was to participate or is to participate in triathlons. And that is incredibly satisfying for him because I know because I used to do biathlons and so forth. So I know exactly what his experience, what, what he's experiencing at 27. Okay. Overall, overall, right? What he's doing is potentially a healthy thing. I'm careful here because I don't know your son, I don't know what he's doing, right? Overall, potentially, Janet, he's probably overdoing it. Overall, potentially, he's not recovering correctly because I remember when I was 25 doing these kinds of things, I was in school and I was participating, I had to train for these things. So my training was a couple hours a day and I slept five, six hours. That was not a healthy thing. So my recovery wasn't good. In order for him to do this well, he needs to spend a lot of time in recovery, not just training. And in order for this to be healthy for him and his prostate. Now, the fact that he's on a bicycle and training, that that doesn't mean he'll have prostate issues. He still may. I don't know. But that doesn't mean that one thing um, is is, is um, directly linked to the other. What is concerning is the stress that he undergoes because he his body undergoes a lot of stress. What is concerning is that he doesn't recover well because the trick is in the recovery. What is concerning, I remember, um, though that wasn't me at the time, but uh, you know, people who participate in endurance activities, they tend to have a poor diet. And they tend to not really take care of themselves because, hey, I'm burning all these calories. So, you know, I don't need to eat well. The opposite is true. They actually need to be very careful with their diet. And the other thing is that endurance athletes tend to have a low testosterone level because their bodies are are undergoing so much stress. So their testosterone, even though at 27, is lower than what it should be. The takeaway is, it doesn't matter what you or I think, he's still gonna do what he wants to do because there's a high that's sustainable that comes from doing such an activity. And he likes that high. Um, I think that it behooves him to make sure to focus on recovery and to get checked, get blood work checked so he can monitor his cortisol and a, and a few things that he can monitor. So in order for him to do this in a healthy way, he would have to recover properly. He would have, which means eat well, sleep well, and get enough sleep um, and, and do all these things to do it properly. And since for them to be health, for him to do it in a healthy way, 
and for his prostate not to get, um, you know, beat up from it. I hope that's helpful.